e-passports. The issuance of e-passports using embedded chip and futuristic technology will be rolled out in 22-23 to enhance the convenience for the citizens in their overseas travel. By the time of India at 100, nearly half our population is likely to be living in urban areas. To prepare for this, orderly urban development is of critical importance. This will help realize the country's economic potential, including livelihood opportunities for the demographic dividend. For this, on the one hand, we need to nurture the mega cities and their hinterlands to become current centers of economic growth. On the other, we need to facilitate tier two and tier three cities to take on the mantle in the future. This would require us to reimagine our cities into centers of sustainable living with opportunities for all, including women and our youth. For this to happen, urban planning cannot continue with a business as usual approach. We plan to steer a paradigm change. A high level committee to rep of reputed urban planners, urban economists and institutions will be formed to make recommendations on urban sector policies, capacity building, planning, implementation and governance. For urban capacity building, support will be provided to the states. Modernization of building bylaws, town planning schemes, transit oriented development will be implemented. This will facilitate reforms for people to live and work closer to the mass transit systems. The central government's financial support for mass transit projects and Amrit scheme will be leveraged for formulation of action plans and their implementation for facilitating the TOD and TPS by the states. For developing India, specific, India specific knowledge in urban planning and design and to deliver certified training in these areas, up to five existing academic institutions in different regions will be designated as centers of excellence. These centers will be provided endowment fund of 250 crore each. In addition, the AICTE will take the lead to improve syllabi, quality and access of urban planning courses in other institutions. We will promote a shift to use of public transport in urban areas. This will be complemented by clean tech and governance solutions, special mobility zones with zero fossil fuel policy and EV vehicles.